Hi, right, welcome back to Shark Tank. I swear we don't Shark hate people. Cage. Shark Cage. <laughs> We're uh, we hate everyone equally. We yeah. leave no one out. No, um, no one love to hear your your ideas this week. Please, please bring you them. Sure forward. about that? Because I've said so. Yeah. First I'll pick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, he's out, but I have an idea. Hi. Uh, thank you for Give having me best. this week on uh, Shark Tank. Um, you've heard of Build a Bear, correct? Oh, well, yes. Sounds like my idea. Hold on. Is, it, is this like Build a Pedophile? This is Build a Boner. Uh, it squeaks. Oh. You can dress it up. You can even tie it up. These idea, which was bow ties for boners, the ribbons. Mm -hmm. um, essentially, what you do, you have kids come in. Well, mm -hmm. maybe not kids. Anyone over the age of 18, they come mm -hmm. in to build a boner workshop. So we'll put them in malls. Like, you know, I mean, if Spencer's is allowed in malls, we can have build a boners in malls. Yeah. Uh, we'll right. put them in malls, and you come in, and you, you know, you customize it. I don't know if you ever built a bear, but you give it like a little heart. You hug it. Are they real dicks? Yeah, can I can I mold it after my dick? Oh, yeah. well, that's like if you want to pay extra money. Is everybody loves to talk about money shots all the time. Yeah, I do. So <laughs> we're going to make an insert for your dick, right? Okay. I agree. I agree. That was no good. <laughs> Why don't you want the money shot? Nothing's that's, allowed in my dick. I think I dick just got tiny. <laughs> <laughs> just a dollar bill. Just a <laughs> rolled up. At least you're not shooting out quarters. <laughs> yeah, it could have been way worse. All right, so my business name is called Christian... <laughs> ChristianTingle.com. Now, you guys have heard of Christian Mingle, right? Yes. Now, everyone likes sexuality, right? Maybe not the Christians. Oh, my God! <laughs> okay, son. Now, when you're tingling, you want to have a service that allows you to, you know, tingle with someone else, right? Yeah. And you also like Christianity, don't you? Sometimes. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to specify that the type of individual it's tingling with you, right? Can yeah. Like now a, define tingling. Yeah, can we get more boners? <laughs> <laughs> so is this called ChristianBoners.com? Love Christianity. So this is the service for you when you are experiencing a boner? You tell somebody that you are tingling. So you take out our Christian Tingle app and you find other boners that are present in your, your exact location. Wait, is this just for, for gay men? For Christian wait, gay men? Wait, 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 wait. Christian, Christian is wait. for everyone, but you have to have a boner. Listen, oh, okay. I've asked myself many times, listen, I got a boner, who else has a boner? Also, are they Christian? So what do you do with your boners? Well, you just kind of stare at them. <laughs> Oh, wait, I have a question. This is like this high school all over again. This uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's up? Is this targeted for like priests or people who uh, Oh no, 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 no. Because no, no, no. I know Christianity doesn't No, shoot him, towards... shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. See, the love of God him. slam. Shoot him. <laughs> Because all we need I are priests and, and, and kids having this application, and it's not good. Oh my Man, I'm God. trying to get everyone on this one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Christian Tingle. With your Christian Tingle, which I think was a good idea, but we had, we had you know, nip it in the bud where it was. Maybe if you are a priest, you get like a little flair next to your name, so people know what they're getting into before they approach the when bone. When you say flair, do you mean like a hot symbol? <laughs> or? <laughs> I meant like an indicator, but if you want to is give it, him like a tomato like, or... Is it like a degree of red, uh, how red the boner is? is that yeah. Oh my god. So it ranges yeah. from like semi to like throbbing? Is that what we're going to rate it? So there's no actual profile picture on ChristianTingle.com. It's just dicks, all right? I just want dicks and Christianity. Can a man just live his life in the way that he chooses? Not in the eyes of God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shit. All Maybe right. someone just shoot me. <laughs> okay. Everybody's been to office parties, right? They're never all that fun, and sometimes you gotta bring a little gift. So instead of the fruit basket, which nobody eats, you know that. I do. I, I, I well, okay, well, you're, you're an exception. <laughs> I invented the fruit jacket. It's a coat for your dick. What it is, is you walk into the room, you're holding the fruit basket kind of waist high so people can grab bits. Oh. See what I'm saying? But your dick is inside a banana peel. Nobody knows. <laughs> no, no, it's like the penis in the popcorn. He wants uh, he, he uh, wants somebody uh, to grab the wrong yeah, fruit. Now, all of a sudden, you're having fun. You're at the office party. Uh, you got a uh, smile on your face because somebody's <laughs> massaging the banana. Mm. What if your dick is shaped like a pear or a watermelon or well, maybe a pineapple? A whole bunch of different fruits <laughs> Okay, for you to stick your dick into. I uh, think I had this idea a couple months ago called the Fruity Surprise. I yeah, think this is treading on pet. Right. Though. And you know what? It also <laughs> rides the banana belt, and I'm not going to have any part of it. Oh, banana the banana belt. belt. <laughs> There's a lot of banana ideas. Direct what is the fruity surprise, Chilled? I need to know. Well, essentially, it's like your idea where people kind of get blindfolded. <laughs> oh, it's like a grab bag. And what they do is they think they're grabbing fruits, 
but one of them's actually your penis. And they put it in their mouth to see what item yeah. it is. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, that's the fruity surprise. Yeah. You think you're getting a banana in your mouth. Nope, it's Michael's penis. I'm sure you've all heard of that, that hack, cnanners.com and his boner bait idea. Because he's standing in front of you. <laughs> you're blind. I think boner bait was a fantastic idea in, in itself. It was a good concept, but it, it was lacking. It wasn't an actual service. What did it lack? Because clearly I have a brain and it's awesome. It's creative, I'll tell you. But my service is called Master baiting.com oh um, hell i'm gonna shoot you you better talk buddy okay this right infringement this is boner bait it's it's uh -huh. small it's it's one idea right meh it's okay this is masturbating masturbating essentially it's a full service we are going to include boner bait um <laughs> penis bait shark bait everything we're going to put together and we'll come to your house and professionally masturbate you that way you're ready to go throughout the entire day you want to get away from he's your just a cheap hooker killer no no you want to get away from your <laughs> wife we will masturbate you and then you can go out and enjoy the day holding your rod your idea dave sounds better than mine and i will not discuss it <laughs> every man just wants another man to help him properly yes, bait, bait. The better version of boner bait. It's the master. God damn it! I didn't master of bait. <laughs> master of bait. I did not think of this. So, so I'm sorry, chilled. Continue. No, it's just you know that's fine. Okay, you're a little upset about the competition, which which I understand. But competition is good for everyone, chilled. But master bait. Master bait was just the guy. Like you have someone come over, and yeah. he'll master bait, and he'll get you ready for the day of just yeah. holding the rod in your hand and searching for love or fishes mm. or whatever. Let me tell you about my ideas, chilled. Yes. My company idea is called Steve Jobs. Now, hand jobs are great, right? Mm -hmm. But if somebody's given it to you and their name isn't Steve, deeply disconcerting, correct? <laughs> That's a little upsetting. <laughs> Start off with the name of your company. Ah, yes, we're called the Massive Cock. And oh. <laughs> we are a, uh, a spectacle of sorts. What you do uh. is you find all your female friends, and you, you gather them around, you take them out back, and you take them to, to my uncle's house who has the Massive Cock. And what you do is, you, it, you, it costs five dollars, and they, <laughs> and it's a giant chicken, and they get to pet it and take pictures with uh, it. Oh I'm my god! Uh, is that's, that's the way Chill always does it. He makes it sound outrageously terrible, and then and it's good. And then backpedals. <laughs> like, hey, lady, you want to go pet my uncle's giant cock? Yeah, massive yeah. cock. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so, how much do you think is a good starting point for the massive cock? Five dollars, ten dollars? You know, as long as it doesn't involve some sort of like horror flick uncle who lives in a cabin. Uh, yeah, who's who's gonna want to do that though? You know, who's gonna see the massive cock? Like Everyone wants to see the massive cock. Well, I, I gotta think of something more everyday people. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've yeah. never been to the South, have you, my friend? Uh, your best penis flavor, uh, penis theme. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, Adam, your best penis flavor, please, right now. With your best penis flavor. Vanilla penis flavor. Vanilla penis flavor. <laughs> Vanilla, I will give you a dick idea. My company's called Your Mom Has a Penis. Now, this is okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, right now, no.